We are Chris and Michael. We retired early and set out on a life of travel that began here in Queretaro, Mexico. So much has happened, and before we go off to the next adventure, we thought we would reflect on our impressions of this surprising city. Okay, it's time for a coffee talk. So to recap, we quit our jobs, so we retired early, we sold our house, and we decided to hit the road. Now we're gonna still spend about 50% of our time in our adopted home of Washington, D.C., but we're also gonna spend the rest of the time hopefully exploring the world. And we started with our first stop here in Carretero, did I say that right? Carretero. Carretero, Mexico. Mexico. So we decided let's do an impressions video so we can reflect on our time here because it's today's our last day. Yeah. Um, the car is about to come pick us up. So it's a great time to kind of reflect on everything we experienced and learned and uh, think about how the launch of our retirement has been for us. And the design if we'd ever come back to Carretero again. So yep. I have some questions that I've put together for us. I have um, answers. Oh, nice. I'm glad somebody does. And coffee. Uh, and let's go through it and let's kind of think about and talk about uh, our experiences. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So the first one, what did you like the most? Oh my God, there's so many things I loved. Um, I think I liked the people and the weather. That's two things, but I like the people and the weather the most. I can definitely, um, I definitely agree with that. The weather, amazing. Amazing. I mean, every day it's every day. like 70, 75 degrees. So it's that's great. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. People, absolutely. Just, they've all been so friendly warm. and kind and, and kind. warm to us. And, and such a sense of, of contentment and enjoying life and being present and, you know, families and just, it was just wonderful. Just wonderful. I think one of the things I, that I noticed a lot was people walking a lot in groups of clearly extended family units. Yeah, yeah. There's always the mom and the dad and the young kids and then they're always uh, along with grandma and grandpa, and which is yeah. just really sweet. Super cool. Um, so yeah, the people yeah. were wonderful. I, I, I think there's a lot to be learned from this culture and I appreciate it. For sure. Uh, I love the beauty of the place. Yes, beautiful. Uh, the architecture is amazing. Being Colonial architecture. I mean, 1600s, absolutely beautiful. We're in the historical center and they preserved it beautifully. And um, of course it's modernized, but it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I also loved um, the gathering spots in oh, yeah. these places um, where people, it was like every night, uh, but I think especially on Sundays where all the families would come in these gathering places and listen to music and kind of shop and eat and just so cool. people watch. And that yeah, was kind of I mean, I mean, lots of people and kids with the toys. What was really <laughs> cool to me was they really, uh, they have all of these toys and all these vendors and they're out playing and, and running around and having a good time. And like you said, eating and drinking and being together, park benches everywhere, green spaces everywhere, and just, just an ability to kind of be and, and enjoy. It was mm -hmm. nice. Uh, so next question, what surprised you the most? What surprised me? Well, I guess the first thing is people wear masks here and it's like no big deal. And everybody's wearing them. Um, of course, we're in COVID, you know, hopefully the end of it now. But listen, everywhere we went, um, they were being voluntarily um, proactive on uh, sanitizing and masks. Really cool. Yeah. and. Uh, it was all just no one was forcing them to do anything and it no. was just everybody was just doing it even in places and situations where you, you didn't have to no people just did it and it's about no big deal so i thought that was my biggest surprise mm -hmm. and it was a refreshing one and the extent of it so uh let's give you a scenario of what it was like to go into like any and every store or restaurant or something so first of all you step on this mat that had this liquid, the sanitizer, antibacterial, antibacterial yeah. stuff to make sure that you didn't track anything in. 
Then you had to do the thing on your hands, the gel, the sanitizing, sanitizing gel yeah. to clean your hands. Then you had to take the temperature yeah. Uh, yeah. for your to make sure that you don't have a fever or something. And then not everybody did this, but it was quite uh, frequent. They'd spray you yeah, <laughs> with this cool. mist of sanitizing gel. Yeah. And then you can get into the gym. And you so know, that sounds crazy. like a lot. And it sounds like it's so obtrusive. It was not. It was like we didn't even think about it. Yeah. And frankly, I really appreciated it. You know, mm -hmm. it's also flu season and stuff. Oh, that was cool. They were giving flu flu shots free in the squares. So there's just people in line getting free flu shots, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Just in the town square. Yeah. Uh, another thing that surprised me is that. I think I can speak Spanish. Okay, nice. maybe just a little bit. Um, but after months of practicing and just taking uh, like Duolingo and some electronic courses online to actually be immersed in it and try to practice it in real time, I wasn't sure that I could do it, but it's it amazing great. how the brain just kind of kicks in the gear. He really got us there. I've been taking French because we're going to uh, France in a few months, and um, so not as much Spanish. I got motivated to take Spanish here, so I started. But Chris really got us what we needed. We communicated with everybody. And of course, it's not perfect, and but they help you, and we never felt like we were stuck, ever. And yeah. people were just so friendly and easy and wanted to help you. It was great. Um, you know, and they were patient with I was me. really I impressed with how as you I, did. As I tried to remember the words, you know, in real time, they were very patient to give it was me great. to do that. It was um, great. So it was, it, I appreciate it. And that gave us a boost of confidence, I think, that we can do this because we'd never done that before. So that was cool. <laughs> uh, the other thing um, that I, I liked and surprised me was... Um, let fewer people drink soft drinks here. Almost no, not, nobody. We almost saw no one. Well, no, we saw no one. We saw, we soft drank. Drink. We drank one. a couple of times. But um, yeah, we didn't really see anybody doing yeah. it. They were drinking agua fresca. Yeah. Uh, instead of soft drinks, they have something called uh, agua de sabor and agua fresca, which is just water flavored with natural flavors, like with fruit, um, and that's what was on everybody's table and that's what everybody drank with their meal uh, and then coffee afterwards. And we loved it. Yeah. We loved it. And I think that's going to spark um, a new habit for mm -hmm. us. Hopefully. It was great. So appreciate it then. Okay. What didn't you like? I think I know what that is. I didn't like, well, speaking of our Spanish, um, one time we had a little snag and we accidentally, we being Chris, uh, because I was counting on him and that was great until this particular incident, but it gave a great story. Um, they can put grasshoppers on stuff, fried grasshoppers. So we actually ordered guacamole once and we thought he said with chips and I think he said with grasshoppers. And so we got grasshoppers on our guacamole and I did not like that. And I did not eat that. I uh, Ooh, actually, I oh, ate some well, no, I, because I, I didn't know what it was. was. And then he said, eat it first and then I'll tell you. And then I did and then I was pissed. Yeah. But um, anyway, yeah, that, I don't like grasshoppers. I, I made sure that you swallowed before yeah, I told you yeah, what that, that was actually was. Uh, it was gross. It ad added an interesting texture to the guacamole, but I can't yeah, say Yeah, no that. judgment, just not for me. me. Uh, just not for me. But that was no grasshoppers, please. Uh, let's see. Next. Um, would you come back? Absolutely. We're already talking about coming back. Um, this place is special, and um, we loved it. And it was a great first... Uh, 10 days to the launch of our retirement so and I think in addition to how wonderful it is because it was the first place we came in the launch of our retirement it'll hold some special memories and a place for me so I would mm -hmm. wouldn't you absolutely and I especially want to come back during the holidays oh yeah uh, so in the central you know it has this great <clears throat> architecture of the historical kind of uh, feel to it there are churches at literally every corner. Yeah. And of course, it's a very Catholic uh, region as uh, Mexico is a very Catholic nation. Um, so I know they're going to do Christmas and really like, well. Easter really well and yeah. beautifully. So I would love to come here and experience um, the city during that time. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah I'd love that. Uh, let's see. What do you wish you had more time to do here? Um, probably we went out one day to a wine and cheese, um, 
tour that was probably what an hour hour and a half that was um, into some cool little towns if I had more time I would probably get out more mm. from um, the city itself although I'm glad on this trip we focused like we did mm -hmm. I, uh, I thought the same thing I would have liked to have done more but I, I think you're right I it, wouldn't have at this wanted time, to do we it. Needed to focus. I wouldn't have wanted to do it at the expense of what we did. Yeah. Because I, okay. I love. In fact, we didn't even get halfway through, you know, Centro and, and the city itself. Uh, top three words that come to mind when thinking of Caracas: people, weather, beauty. I have history, family, and hope. Oh, hope. It. Oh, that's and just to see the people come together. Yeah, uh, it's really inspiring. It was really inspiring it to really see. Was. And uh, genuine. Very yeah. genuine. People looked relaxed and happy. And every night, especially on Sunday nights, as I think I mentioned, everybody coming together in the square. Yeah. Um, you'll see in one of our videos that um, there was this time where they had this beautiful Mexican band playing in the gazebo so cool. thing. I, I'm sure there's a name for it. And the family's just... Um, Started so dancing cool. spontaneously. All kinds of families, uh, too. It's just amazing. Just wonderful. So, yeah. you know, obviously um, being a couple, of, you know, we don't have kids with us and all that kind of stuff. But there were everybody everywhere of all types and, you know, just out there enjoying themselves. And it was wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you know, that reminds me of something uh, I, I should have said earlier. One of the things that surprised me, too, and that I liked was it felt very safe as a gay couple. Very safe. Um, we actually as saw a, as any couple. As yeah, any couple. Period. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. It was very safe. I never even questioned, thought about um, being anything but. Yeah. Yeah. And very cool. accepting. And so that was wonderful. That was cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, you were standing in the prettiest place in Cabedro. Where are you? <sighs> Probably the. the the square Jardin. Oh yeah, that's uh, you'll see that in another one of our videos. That's it is big, beautiful green space. It's probably the biggest uh, in Centro, and it's just gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, mine will be um, inside the old convent that's been converted to the regional oh, museum. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's this. You'll see it in another video. Beautiful. Um, where it's this huge courtyard in the middle of this old convent uh, from, what was the year? 1650s. Yeah, and just beautiful. You could beautiful. imagine um, uh, the the original nuns. Yeah, um, that was gorgeous. Meditating in that space. That yeah, was beautiful. beautiful. Uh, best advice for someone coming here? Come. Um, I think you need enough time to do it but even if you only have a short amount of time um, I'd come anyway um, I don't think the weather's ever bad uh, from we've had a terrific experience uh, I would say do what you can to get either a little bit of Spanish or make sure you got Google Translate up Google Translate rocks um, um, and um, you know even if you don't have any Spanish I think you get along fine with that that's mm -hmm. my best thought yeah mine would have been too. learn at least a little bit of Spanish don't uh, put too much pressure on yourself, like I did, no, that no. you have to learn it all and be proficient before you get here. That will come in time, but do have a few words ready for restaurants, scenarios, yeah. and checking in your hotel or, or whatever. I think that's a really good thing you said too. You know, in the beginning, you know, I think you were feeling a little bit of stress because, you know, we've never done this before. And with retrospect here, it's like, man, you nailed it. Everybody was pulling for you, and there was never any issues with doing anything. Um, so have a little and chill. So all in all, how do you feel about the official launch of retirement? I love it. Um, I've been retired, what, six weeks? And I'm loving it. Uh, I am a different I have a different energy, I have a different perspective. You know, we were in D.C. for four weeks before we came here, and there was a lot going on there with our new house and all that stuff. But I think this last couple of weeks in Caretaro is really the launch of retirement, and so far I'm so digging it. I feel a different energy, a different perspective, a different mindfulness, and a real excitement about what we're going to do. And I've got confidence we can do it. Yeah, I'm really excited too. It's It's been wonderful. Um, 
it, it's almost surreal. Like, I can't believe we're doing this. I and I, I just feel immense gratitude for it. And like, wow, this is really yeah. happening. I also am starting, I think it's a little slower for me than for you to get out of the American work mindset and get out of my head and just be and explore and see this beautiful world uh, for what it is. Amen. Um, so I'm really excited to continue mentoring. Me too. Let's do it. So thanks for the chat. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching our video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also check out our interactive Google map that tracks the locations where all of our videos take place. Finally, check out our merchandise store where you can create fully personalized t-shirts, greeting cards, mugs, and more, all of which help support the growth of our channel. See you next time.